Okay, this is the features of the new 2.71 SE B version. Two point seven one SEB. Now we've got the Internet Explorer, obviously, and all the other ones. But um, more on your ISOs now. If we check on a UMD, medieval resurrection. Not like the 1.5, just chuck it in and away you go. So <clears throat> runs the UMDs just like that. But keeping that UMD in there, take it out and it won't work. Also your ISO is made from your UMDs. Once they're in the um once they're in the uh, ISO folder they just come up like this in your games menu. And you just load them. No mucking around. Um, we used to have used to use devhook. Now we don't have to. Devhook is in there for 2.71, just in case. There's no modifications to the ISO and no, well, no modifications to anything. You just start the game and away you go. So there you have it, the 2.71 SEB, just run your ISOs just like that. Um, you pretty much can do what the 1.5 can do, uh, music, I don't know if I've got any in there, no. So yep, yeah, um, you can play your MP4s. Once they're in there, you play your MP3s like normal, your photos and so on, etc. So it's all, and you got the internet and your local free player and the RSS channels. I mean, you got the full features of 2.71. Plus, you can also uh, run Homebrew. If you go into here, all your Homebrews are in div 
different Fultons. If you wanted a 2.71 home brew <coughs> to run, you put it in PSP game folder. If you want it, if you've got a version 1.5 eBoot um, home brew, you put it into the PSP game 1.5 folder, and they all seem to work. Um, Corrupted data doesn't quite work yet exactly. It does work, but I've got all this in there. I've only got one corrupted data, so that's not too bad. Um, it'll get better. So um, there you have it.